Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. Our next stop is one of the newest attractions down in the Rio Grande Valley. It's a museum dedicated to stained glass, and displaying these incredible works of art is something they take very seriously. The painted churches of Central Texas are some of the most serene and sacred spots in our state. The sun piercing through the windows of these old shrines fills the spirit of your soul. These works of art tell a story, and it's easy to find yourself staring at the colorful accounts of biblical tales for what feels like an eternity. Well, if seeing stained glass like the kind you find in these charming chapels is what brings you joy, there is a museum in the Rio Grande Valley that will light up your life. We are the largest and most comprehensive stained glass exhibit and collection in the United States. Miriam Cepeda is the director of the Gilman Stained Glass Museum in San Juan. I enjoy seeing individuals come in here and they're just like, wow, everyone, as soon as they open the door, they're just amazed. Why is this here? The patron, which is Dr. Lawrence Gelman, he is an uh, anesthesiologist here in the Rio Grande Valley. And due to the location here in San Juan, um, Mrs. Gelman chose this spot. This spot in San Juan feels like a spiritual sanctuary, and that's exactly how they wanted it. The whole idea, the whole goal here at the Gelman Stained Glass Museum is to provide a transcendental experience for our visitors that can only be achieved in the replication of a sacred environment. When you pass by us, you think we're a cathedral. You, we replicate everything from the exterior to the interior of a cathedral. Really no cost was spared for this, the erection of this uh, edifice. Any idea what it cost to build? <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that line out there. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. From the outside, you'll notice there isn't one window. That's because the Gelman Stained Glass Museum wanted every single stained glass to be protected from the elements and look impeccable with the perfect amount of light behind each and every window. We have something that's very uh, unique and different because all of our stained glass is illuminated by LED replication of sunlight. So you're taking us behind the curtain. <laughs> yes. Whoa. So this is where everything is illuminated by. We have over a thousand plus drivers. You know, the people appreciate something as simple as sunlight. Sure. And something that we uh, talk about here at the museum in the replication of this sunlight. So, you know, it's not just yellow. It's not just white. It's sure. soft white, bright yellow, uh, light colors. yellow, green, the, the red. Spectrum. Right, exactly, yep. the whole spectrum. Well, let's get right to the pretty part. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Gelman has been collecting these stained glass windows for over 30 years. In all, there's 174 sets in the museum. Everything except two is original antiques that date back to the late uh, 19th century, early 20th century. This is our European section of windows here. One of the windows that's very famous that we have on display is our Cox Buckley window of Christ knocking at the door. And this window, Tiffany Studios, he made a copy off of this window. And so this one is, you know, an English artist, Cox Buckley. However, in the Munich Mayer style, which is the painted style window. This is the rendition of Christ Knocking at the Door by oh. Tiffany Studios. So the same scene, it's a very famous scene uh, in stained glass art. However, this is the Tiffany Studios of Christ Knocking at the Door. And so you'll see the different style. This is the colored style, the opalescent use of glass that Tiffany excelled at, as well as in the modeled glass that you see here. You see the confetti glass where it gives it a real life um, depiction in the glass where it looks like actual leaves. It's beautiful. The detail is unbelievable. We have to remind ourselves that um, during the late 19th century, early 20th century, there was, um, you know, the Industrial Revolution. And this is the, the era of Art Nouveau, where um, in these industrialized cities, people wanted to see something that looked as naturalistic versus the railroad, versus the booming skyscrapers. And so when you go into a church in the Northeast Coast, for example, which predominantly most of these windows are from, you see these illustrations of something that looks very real in the natural world. 
something heavenly as well. And when you look at the windows, you'll get that uh, sentiment. Staring at these windows and looking at the windows, but do you ever think about what those windows have seen? <laughs> I have. They've, they've gone through a lot. You know, honestly, I think some of these windows are alive. <laughs> but uh, that's another story. But um, yeah, they've seen so many things. They've seen so many baptismals, uh, weddings, Christmas masses, uh, funerals. They've all been a memory to someone. As a child, I still remember staring at the stained glass windows of our church, seeing the light reflected on the imperfections of the glass, all while learning a story of a saint or a story in the Bible. Here, you can relive some of those stories or just sit in awe of some amazing artwork, making the Gelman Stained Glass Museum a great place to reflect on the Texas bucket list. We want to preserve all of these windows for centuries to come.